Well, hello, I'm Katie, and we are Team Passion Dragon. As Lisa mentioned, we're really a mashup of two teams that came together last year uh, in Action Collabs around the idea of how might we leverage open content to transform learning. So the problem that we decided to really wrestle with is the fact that students are losing interest in school because a lot of what they do there is not relevant or accessible or interesting to them. And we know that these students, if they really want to know something, they go to Google. But they don't always find exactly what they need in Google. It, maybe it's not tailored to them. Maybe it's not what they're looking for right now. Despite the fact that there really are more and more excellent open education resources. So our solution to that, pa to that problem is Passion Dragon. Passion Dragon is a web app that takes learner requests and recommends vetted intellectual resources that are personalized to students' passions and learning styles. In this pilot phase, we really focused on the fifth through eighth grade group, thinking that if it works for them, it could work for learners ages one to 100. And at the end of the year, we actually have a beta site that is up and working. You should try it. So how does it work? Um, so let's imagine uh, young Sue who has to learn about fractions. And she's going to go to Passion Dragon, and she's going to log in, and she's going to create a profile. After she puts her information in, the first thing she's going to do is pick some passions. So Sue is interested in soccer and in animals. So she's put those passions in. Uh, then she's going to pick what learning styles she likes. So Sue likes videos, and she likes games and interactive. So she selected those as learning styles she likes. And then what grade is she in? Well, Sue's in eighth grade. So the next thing is she goes to the search by topic, and she puts in what she's trying to learn. So she needs to learn about fractions. And voila, the results come up a set of uh, sorted and um, fascinating educational resources that relate to her passion of soccer. Um, so how does it work? Well, first of all, we're getting vetted intellectual res educational resources from the Guru Learning Platform um, that has gone through and, uh, and vetted a number of great resources. And we're interacting with them through an API. So what happens, we do a search into Guru. We come back. We do some magic algorithms and, and tagging and metadata. And we sort up that best content specifically tailored for that, for Sue, in this case. Uh, now, besides just getting those resources, once Sue pulls it up, she can then interact with it and actually add to the metadata within Passion Dragon by tagging new passions, by um, updating the learning styles, by putting a rating on it, putting in comments, and making it more useful for other learners down the road. Um, so what did they used to see? So this is uh, a search on Google that we did for fractions. There's 34 million results. And uh, you see the sort of the top four. So nothing against Google. We think they're great. We all, it's been used as the answer for what everyone looks for. But it is hard to find the best resources there. Um, we have a fully designed vision. We, what you just saw there were, were clips from our uh, beta site that you can go run. Um, we've, we've designed out a number of other features uh, that include a whole bunch of things on development roadmap that I'd love to talk to you guys about later. Uh, big on the list is the community and uh, social features. Um, so we've taken this out of the pilots, Laura. So the key to all of this is, you know, it isn't always you build it and they will come. So we decided we were going to build it. We were going to invite students to the equation and figure out what they thought. So we conducted five pilots during the course of November and December in three distinct geographic locations with incredible diversity across socioeconomic as well as academic and key equity and access issues. So we had kids who had never even touched um, barely a computer before and needed to be, OK, where do I go to log into your browser and go on to Passion Dragon? That's really key because what you're about to see is this is equitable, it's accessible, and is it exciting and loved by all the students. So here are the results. 94% of students say Passion Dragon is fun. What do we believe about Big Ideas Fest? It's fun. They want to do it. Is it better than a typical search? Absolutely. Only 10% find Google better. 62% believe Passion Dragon is better. How useful? 94% of students believe a fully functional Passion Dragon would be great. For example, they were begging for more passions, begging for their learning styles to show up, and begging for more content. Finally, th this to me is the key. 93% of temperamental middle school students say they would recommend this to their friends. Why do they like it? It's less random. I can find something that's useful and interesting. 
because it fits me. Personalized learning, we've heard about that all day long. Personalized learning, and you can use whatever the search gives you. And finally, it's easier to learn if I can make personal connections. It's relevant. So, <clears throat> before you, we have the most amazing, enthusiastic, multi-talented leadership team that are poised and ready to go. Um, including, um, we have a development team standing by, and we've already started forging relationships in order to keep the, keep the wheels turning. We know that kids love Passion Dragon. And as Brian said earlier, we have a full vision for Passion Dragon already designed. So, <clears throat> our next step has to be developing the commercial pilot. That's it. Can't see anything else. Can't go anywhere else. <clears throat> in order to actualize this, in order to make our plans happen, in order to build that deployable product, in order to build a business plan and a marketing plan, we require $500,000 to take it to the next level. So we can't close without thanking everybody at ISKME, um, both of our full action collab teams who started this idea a year ago, our facilitation, our advisors, our developers, and of course our pilot schools. And thanks to all of you here really for giving us the inspiration to pull this together for, for today. If you want to learn more, we will be out at our share out board between sessions and we'll also be at the 4.30 session this afternoon, uh, which is you go to the, regi the Ritz registration desk and turn right and there's a, a, a meeting room just past the elevators. And before it's got a lot you of, start, uh, oops, here's our cool, video. Uh, search features. I found this thing where you add um, music notes to make fractions. Uh, I liked how you could go and kind of customize how you liked it, like what were your passions and stuff. Let kids learn what they want at their own pace. Fun kids, fun! Go to soccer. Here, I'll help you. And I would probably use it more than uh, Google once it's done. Thank you.